I was talking with the gals at church the other day about some assumptions that Jesus has made about us. Assumptions about you and about me. We find them in Matthew chapter 6. When Jesus is teaching the Lord's Prayer, remember, we've learned all of that. Well, before he teaches the Lord's Prayer, he says three times, when you pray, when you pray, when you pray, he's assuming that we all pray, that in some way we all talk to God in our own way. Sometimes we talk to God in a formal way. Maybe we say the Lord's Prayer. Or sometimes we talk to God because we're in trouble. So we say, help, and we just cry out to him, God, help me. Sometimes we ask the question, God, where are you? But we're talking to God. Sometimes we talk to God about other people's needs. Sometimes we invite people to talk with God with us as we pray together. But we all talk to God. When you pray, Jesus said. He also assumes that we know that God cares about us. We have a God that loves us, a God that hears us. We don't have to go someplace and ring a bell. We don't have to burn some incense. We don't have to face a certain direction. We just have to say, Father. He assumes that we know that. He assumes that we know about Revelation chapter 4, where God is in his throne room and and uh, all of these angels and heavenly creatures are shouting, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And that when you say, Father, he says, Quiet, 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 my child wants to talk to me. He assumes that we know that. Remember the old story about the boy who was on the phone with his girlfriend and he says, oh, I got to go. You hang up. And she says, no, you hang up. And he says, no, you hang up. She says, no, you hang up. <laughs> Remember that story? Well, Jesus is assuming that we know that God never hangs up, never hangs up. He is available for our cry, our conversation, our request, our praise, our thanks. He is available 24-7. So during this time when you're recovering from the pandemic, don't forget the times you spent in prayer and the precious times that they were. When you pray, make it often. Paul says, pray continually. Pray without ceasing. Pray always. Always be in the attitude of prayer because God is always in the attitude of prayer. So be ready. You have a conversation with God anytime you want. You can be in that conversation as long as you want. He never hangs up. Have a good day.